Right, I just thought I would show you a quick uh, trick in iTunes and it's to make yourself a CD cover. Okay, there are other pieces of software that will make you uh, a CD cover, but this will work for Mac or PC and it's very quick. Um, it's really a quick and dirty CD cover. If you want to make something special to yourself, then fine, use something like Discover or even uh, Microsoft Publisher will make you a CD cover on the PC. But look at this. Okay, so I've got a playlist open here. Okay, this is the album that I want to make a cover of. Okay, and if I just shift and click down there like that, so I've selected all the tracks that I want on my album. Okay, I do File, Print, okay. CD dual case insert, then you've got a choice here. Okay, this is giving you just a very plain thing here. Zoom up on that, it's giving you a very plain theme. Okay, if you choose something like single cover here. Okay, that will now give you the front and back. Okay, although the back is a mirror image of the front. I do wish that um, these download things, it's been a bugbear of mine ever since, um, ever since I, started downloading things um, and that is that you don't get a proper cover with proper artwork and a nice little booklet. Um, iTunes used to be better at it than it is now. It's now got this iTunes LP thing for selected stuff that they want to promote but not ordinary things. So anyway here we go and I just hit print okay and that will print me off. Uh, I don't want draft quality. I'll have, uh, I'll have standard quality. I'll have to zoom out. Just bear with me a second. Okay, standard quality there. Okay, and away we go. And that's printing me out a cover which I can just cut out and fold in half. Um, you may even hear my printer going here. It's going to moan about lack of ink, I know it is at some point. There we go, you can hear my, my thingy doing that. Right, not only that, if you take a playlist such as, now where am I looking? Uh, let me find you one that's got a few different artists in it. Ah, oh, this is one of my favorites it's called The Word on the Street. It just means that sometimes, that sometimes, occasionally, there are new singles that I like. So anyway, here we go. Click on the first one, shift click to select the whole lot, file, Print, you can just see that one's finished printing. Okay, CD dual case insert. Now at the moment it's a single cover. Okay, and it's given me the first one on the, on the thing which is Spotlight. Okay, but because this has got like 18 different artists on it which probably wouldn't even fit onto one CD, but never mind. Okay, if I go to Mosaic. Okay, if I choose White Mosaic. There we go. You can now see that it's ch chosen a selection of pieces, let's just zoom in again. Okay, a selection of pieces there to put as the cover. Okay, again, um, there are too many there for, for it to do like the whole stuff. Okay, but there you go. Okay, you don't just have to print um, a cover from here, you can print a song listing or an album listing as well. Okay, um, quite often if you've got a long track, um, on the back, let's go back to here, uh, let's go back to here, yeah, on the back here, especially all these tracks that feature someone else and what have you, you just get like, you can't see it there because it's, it's, it's too unclear, but you just get half the track name. So it might, so it's sometimes worthwhile just to use this feature to print yourself out an album listing or a song listing. Okay, all right, so there's my quick hint for, um, uh, albums and CD covers in iTunes because the CD, believe it or not, peoples, is not dead. iTunes used to have a little button here to burn to CD and since they released iTunes 10, not only has the CD icon here, like for the dock, gone, but here they've also removed the burn to CD icon here, which means you've now got to find it uh, cancel that. You've now got to find it here in the file menu, burn playlist to disc. 
this is because Steve Jones wants to Steve Jobs wants to prove a point and uh, unfortunately it's a bit of a crap one because people will want to burn their songs to disc if only for backup purposes let alone to actually play them nicely on a hi-fi system computers do not play cds very well people they really don't neither do computer sound cards reproduce music well enough for it to be hi-fi but you get a hi-fi cd player such as um a Riga Apollo or something even more basic than that, a Cambridge Audio for example, and you'll find that it produces CD music very nicely indeed. Anyway, rante over with. I will speak to you at some other time. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.